Hi everybody! Today I wanted to talk to you about Chapter 10, Programming. But there's a little problem. And that would be, I'm hungry. I want pizza. So let's see if we can solve both problems at once and figure out how a little bit of understanding of how programming works can help get me that pizza. Step one, pick up the phone, open the pizza app, verify my identity if necessary. Okay? This is what is known as a sequence structure, one of the three major structures in programming. Follow these steps one by one. Can't verify my identity before I pick up the phone, so I have to do them in order. Pick up the phone, open the pizza app, verify identity. Step two, ooh, a question. How specialty or custom? This is known as a decision structure. I have to make a choice. Depending on what choice I make, I will move to some other step. Here we see that if I choose how specialty, then I move on to step three. If I choose custom, I would move on to step four. We're going to examine both, of course. Here's step three. Choose my pizza. This is how specialty, remember. Meat lovers, Hawaiian, veggie, barbecue chicken, four cheese. Okay. Once I've made my decision here, I then move to step seven. Now, in this case, I don't move to a different step. I've simply made my choice. So I don't go to a different step if I chose Hawaiian over meat lovers. It's just something has to be decided here before we can move on. So essentially, the decision itself and then moving on to step seven are part of a sequence. Okay. Step four. Ooh, now we're looking at the custom. First, I have to choose my crust. Again, this choice is part of a sequence. I can't go on until I make the choice. Thin, thick, deep dish, cauliflower. Ooh, does anybody really like cauliflower? I mean, I know there are some people who eat it because they think it's better for them, but at any rate, once I have choice chosen, which for me is definitely thin crust, move to step five. Sauce, red, white, just olive oil, none, move to step six. Yeah, again, choice has to be made before I can move on. Um, let's see, I think I'm in a veggie mood today, which means I'm probably going to go with a white sauce. I do love a white sauce with mushrooms. Ooh, yum. Mm. Here we go. Step six. Toppings. All right. Yeah. Again, have to make some choices before we can move on. Now, obviously, your average pizza app is going to limit you in your number of toppings uh, and, you know, then charge you extra if you want more and all of that sort of thing. But we're going to ignore that sort of nonsense for now. Had I gone with the red sauce, I would probably be looking at some pepperoni um, or something like that. White sauce, I could go with anchovies, but I think I'm going to stick to veggie today. So I'm going to have some mushrooms and artichokes. Ooh, I didn't include fresh onions in there. I should have. I do like some onions there. Uh, but we'll go with mushrooms and artichokes. I think those are excellent on a white sauce. Time to go to step seven, which is where I would be had I chosen one of the specialties and gone directly to step seven. Choose extras. Anything else I want to go with my pizza? Some dipping sauce, maybe marinara or some ranch. Uh, sprinkle on, peppers, parm. Um, or maybe they have, you know, something that you can sprinkle onto the crust before it gets baked. You know, a lot of people like that kind of stuff. I'm a little bit more of a purist when it comes to my crust. And I think that works better with a thicker crust than with the thin crust I'm getting. Um, do we want some breadsticks? I'm already getting pizza crust. Why do I need more carbs? But, you know, sometimes it's carb out day. Brownies. Oh, yeah, brownies. Or those cinnamon roll thingies. Mm, yum. Ah, but a lot of times they're just pizza dough that's got some butter and cinnamon on it. 
uh, those aren't as good as a real, you know, cinnamon roll. Anyway, choose. Go to step eight. Drinks. Oh, yeah, I've got to have something to drink with a pizza. Unless you're me, I don't drink with meals. Drink before, wait 20 minutes, drink after. Uh, but, you know, other people like to imbibe while now we're keeping it strictly non-alcoholic here um, individual drinks sodas or non-carb or perhaps you know big bottles if you're having enough pizza for a party you know similar choices once we've made some choices there go to step nine check out enter or confirm your payment info enter or confirm your address, enter or confirm your delivery instructions. Again, this is a sequence. You've got to go through all of these steps before you can move on. Add your driver tip, click the button, go to step 10. Wait for your pizza to arrive. Follow your pizza's progress on the app. Maybe you, you know, have one of those where you can see, oh, hey, the guy's making the pizza now, and oh, hey, the guy's just put it in the oven, or the girl, or whoever, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, pizza person. Uh, eventually, you will, of course, have to text the driver to tell them that they're in the wrong neighborhood. Uh, and then we go to step 11. Come on, step 11. There we go. Whoops. Go back. There we go. Get the pizza from the door. Set the box on the table. Open the box. Take out the little plastic thingy that keeps the lid from touching your pizza. Proceed to the consumption subroutine. Here's the consumption subroutine. Take a slice. Eat the slice. Still hungry? Ooh, question. If yes, is there more pizza? If yes, then... Ooh, take a slice. Eat the slice. Still hungry? If yes, is there more pizza? If no... Then throw out the box. Take a slice, eat the slice, still hungry. If no, is there more pizza? If yes, close the box, put it in the fridge. If no, throw out the box. This is what's known as a looping or an iteration structure, control structure. We ask a question and depending on what the answer to that question is, we go back or forward in our subroutine and do something again until we make that decision again and we get a different answer. Okay? These are known as do whiles or do untils. So in this case, we take a slice and we eat until we are no longer hungry or until there is no pizza left. Okay? And then we do something else. Now, we've skipped over a whole lot of details here. And We've skipped over end program. We've skipped over an awful lot of assumptions like, do you know how to operate your phone? Do you even have a phone? Can you walk to the door? Not everybody can. Or do you have somebody that will walk to the door for you? You know, there's a whole lot of details that get left out there. But think of all those things that went into the process of just ordering and consuming a pizza just the things that we wrote down here. And that's kind of what programming is all about, is taking apart something that we often do without really thinking about it and analyzing each tiny detail and describing it so that the ultimate dumb thing, a computer, can do it by describing in detail every single thing and getting it down to a level that a stupid computer who understands nothing more than signal on and signal off can figure it out and do it. And that's what programming is all about. Now the chapter itself and your uh, lab exercise, well, online lab exercise in programming will give you a lot more details than I have here. But I wanted you to kind of think about it in terms of something that we all understand. Ordering food. Who doesn't understand that these days? So take that away with you and